with Zado TCG here and welcome to the TCG online match. This time we are not gonna open booster packs but we're gonna straight to the match and uh, show the deck list first. We are returning to an old classic called Landorus Lucario, the fighting deck, the, one of the most popular decks and actually uh, one of the top tier decks in the format. So look out for that. Actually people suggested that I should play actually uh, uh, more with the top tier decks since regionals is coming up and they want to see uh, what version of the decks uh, they can expect and what cards they actually run to, to face those decks because those are really powerful. So let's check out the deck list first. As you see, we first run a 2-2 line of Garbodor, that way we can attack Pyroars and the ability gets locked from our opponent, which is really great. Then we have some decent powerful attacks, we have one Mewtwo EX actually, because we run 3 Lucario and uh, usually there's a Mewtwo, uh, opposing Mewtwo somewhere there and uh, we want to have like a fast response to that. Then we have 2 Landorus EXs, I know we should run 3, but I only have 2, that's a really expensive card and really hard to find, so Landorus is one of the most powerful EXs in the format for sure. So, as I said, 3 Lucario and then 1 Seismitoad the EX, uh, because I really like Seismitoad and actually with Quaking Punch, if we manage to get it on turn 1 or something, it is actually really powerful with the item lock and then our opponent is stuck like that. That's why we also run 2 DCEs and then uh, for the energy 6 regular fighting energies and then 4 from the strong energy because we want to power up our Lucario and Landorus. Uh, the Pokemon already uh, covered, now to the Ace Pack card, it's Computer Surge of course, if you want to have something like, oh I have a DC in the hand and then a Switch and I want to have the item lock on turn 1 because I'm facing like a Pyro deck for example, you can do that, or just get out Garbler, it's all possible with the strategies, if you can have Computer Surge, it's really powerful in this deck as I said. Then we have one Bicycle, just some um, regular uh, draw support, usually I want to run more, but yeah, I uh, discovered that if you're playing uh, an item lock deck, you usually struggle behind because you uh, can't use those bicycles. So two uh, Ultra Balls to search our Pokemon that we want and uh, one Starling Megaphone really uh, to annoy our po uh, opponent actually to get rid of all their item cards. Then two Switch, uh, four Lasers we want to be really aggressive in this deck. Then we have one Max Potion, four N, four Juniper, one Skyla. I know you're saying like why don't you run Karina? But we also run it as well. We run four copies. I just like the card so much Skyla that I actually decided to put one in here as well because we can search for a supporter as well. So uh, then we have two Lysander and then one Colorus, so um, a lot of supporters because I'm kind of afraid of item lock. So then we have uh, one Shauna, also uh, Fighting Stadium and uh, Verbank City Gym is in uh, this uh, deck list because I couldn't decide you can run Fighting Stadium, two of those, or just uh, run two Verbank City Gym. I decided running both could be an option. So. Uh, that's about it. Now we're gonna see here we have the uh, aggressive four muscle bands in here and then two float stones to give to our Garbodors because we need an item card, uh, actually a tool card to our Garbodors to actually manage to have the item lock up. Oh, uh, actually the ability lock. So that's about it for the Landorus Lucario deck and now we're just gonna click play now and see what opponent is facing us on the other side of the world. That gives me some time to, to drink from my water because it actually uh, takes quite a while to search an opponent, but we found someone. So, uh, if I'm doing a live match, it's actually quite hard because I have to uh, re um, actually recapture every moment we have because uh, usually there are, the opponent isn't playing a really competitive deck and that way we have to actually redo the entire thing. But yeah, I can start the match and I'm facing someone named Pedro272, uh, actually 2702. So uh, we'll see here what deck he's playing. He's playing a water and a fire deck, so it's a combination of that. Maybe fire with Seismitoad, hopefully. And I have a, a starting Pokemon with the ideal uh, Lucario, uh, Strong Energy, Muscle Band and the Laser. So we uh, will deal a ton of damage and uh, we can actually see what opponent, uh, what my opponent is playing right now. So as I suspected, he is playing Pyroar, which is a deck I haven't played against in a battle video. So we'll see how it fares. So the thing we know is that we have to batch a Trubbish uh, right away because uh, the ability is actually not that great. So. Uh, if Pyro is out, we can attack with our uh, Pokemon that uh, aren't evolved Pokemon. So the thing we're gonna do is attach a strong energy, attach a muscle band, use the laser straight from the bat. There we go, he has a sleep and uh, then we use the bicycle, uh, the full potential, not the full potential, we have some more. But uh, and then we have another muscle band here. I'm actually gonna skip the, the colorus, otherwise I'll only get two cards. I, I'll give my opponent some time actually. Since that Litleo is asleep, he'll actually bench some more Litleos on the bench, which I want. And that way we can use colorus more efficiently. So, 
The thing you should know about the Lucario Landorus deck is that it's really, really fast and uh, hits quite hard. So as you can see, on my next turn, I'll be dealing uh, so 60 damage regularly, and then we have 20 more damage with an extra 20. So that's already 100 damage on my second turn, which will be really, really devastating because uh, yeah, my opponent's playing a deck and his uh, Pokemon ha doesn't uh, don't have a lot of HP. So uh, yeah, except for a Charizard EX, that's uh, that's this Charizard. As you can see, 180. That'll be quite a pain to knock out. So uh, the thing we have to do, if you're facing uh, a Pyro deck like this, with a top deck, yeah, like just, uh, let's say you're playing a Lucario deck, uh, you don't even have Landorus, so that could be the case. So you just want to have your Garbodors out, that's the thing you want, because as you see that uh, Pyro is coming out soon. And uh, yeah, let's see what we have. We have another Lucario here. So this Lucario deals uh, 30 damage, then 50 damage. And then uh, actually uh, 70 damage just with one energy. So we're actually not gonna attach another Lucario uh, because uh, let's say if he has a Mewtwo, you'll be you can be knocked out quite from the bat because if I have Mewtwo DCE and then Muscle Band, you'll be quite knocked out. So the thing we're gonna do is just knock it out with your regular strength, and then we're just gonna build up another Pokemon on the bench. Also, Skyla makes it possible for us to search out. Uh, certain stuff in our deck. I think we want to go for something sweet. Uh, we want to have Garbodor out, but it looks like we're gonna knock out this. Um, let's see here. We are definitely gonna knock out this Litleo straight from the bat, so we don't have to worry about uh, the Pyroars at the moment. So we want to have with Skyla, you can also get a supporter, which is great. So that's why I run the Skyla, and I think I'll go for the Juniper. Yeah, since we don't run, uh, actually we can give another energy next turn and that way we only discard two energies and we can use Starling Mo Megaphone if he decides to actually attach tool cards. So, 70 damage and that's it. Quite clean, just using the first attack. You only have one energy, so we were actually ready for a Mewtwo War since we have the Mewtwo in hand. So, let's see what my opponent does. He attaches the energy to his Charizard. Actually, the Seismitoad is also in my deck. Wow, he's using the red card here, so looks like... Oh no, my Juniper is gone. So I don't have a supporter, so uh, Landorus and the Lucarios just have to uh, face him, face my opponent. Ah, oh, wow, his attack works. So, as you can see, Stoke will put three basic energies onto the Charizard. You can actually run, you have two versions, you have the one that uh, uses three DCEs. And then you have also the other one and that, uh, yeah, this one that uses Stoke to build up uh, some uh, Charizard. This will one deal 120 damage. We want to have a two hit knockout. So we are going for an energy onto our Lucario. And then the Verbank City Gem could come and play, but I'm not so certain about that. We can uh, keep our DCE, use Ultra Ball later on for Mewtwo. So we're just going to... Actually, we can do something better. You can draw cards until you have six cards in your hand with Lucario. So the thing we are going to do is sacrifice our Landorus in this situation. There we go. And get out... Um, we can get out Garbodor. That will be the best thing. I can get, also get out Mewtwo, but we have a La uh, Lucario on the bench waiting. For uh, some opposing Pokemon. So the thing we do now is Crux Crew Smash, dealing 100 damage. So that's a ton. So you see how powerful and aggressive this uh, Lucario Landorus deck is. So we can draw five cards as well. The consistency is really great with this deck. So let's say you get ends, Lucario fixes that problem for you. So hopefully my opponent benches another Pokemon. Otherwise, this battle video would be quite short. But I'll have new ones uh, on a daily basis, probably uh, usually be between the days. So. Looks like this will be the match for the day, so yeah, what else can I show? You can attach the Floatstone to the uh, Garbodor, that way we have the ability lock. We have another land uh, Lucario waiting, actually we can show some more stuff of the deck just for you guys. Usually it will be a short battle, but let's say we attach another energy to this uh, la uh, Lucario, actually to this Lucario, not really. You don't have to do attach more energies than necessary, so this one is also ready to use Crux Crew Smash with a Muscle Band. Now we have the Hypno Toxic Laser. There we go, and what else is in my deck? You'll see, we can get three cards. So, yeah, switch. So we can actually uh, switch around, save our other Lucario from damage, and actually attack with the new fresh one, Crux Crew Smash. And then, actually, with the consistency, we also get four cards. So, again, we can draw more cards, and that's you see how consistent and powerful and quick this deck really is. 
So this also shows the power of Lucario, not Landris. Landris is actually way better than Lucario in certain situations, but this situation showed that Lucario is better since dealing more damage is the key to knock out Charizard. So thanks again for watching another battle video. I know it was like the, the quickest one ever, but I'll have a, another one for you guys tomorrow. So stay tuned and I'll be seeing you guys next time. Peace.